All right, what is going on, YouTubers? This is uh, my review of State of Decay Breakdown, the DLC for uh, State of Decay. Now, this is a pretty, pretty well done uh, DLC. I think it, it wasn't as large as a file size as some other games. Um, where it makes up for it is it changes up the game modes. Instead of starting out when in a group, kind of, you just are all by yourself, and you have to pretty much immediately try and find shelter with other survivors, and to stay alive. Your two main, t biggest two problems you'll encounter is a feral zombie and a big one, a big one. Those, those two can pretty much knock you down and just tear you in half. Game over for that character. As you see here, it, it kind of has a hard problem. time loading in in the game. Can you give them an escort? I think it, this kind of pushes the Xbox 360's uh, graphical limits. It takes a minute for all the textures to load in. Well, uh, it would be really nice to see how it runs on the, the next gen systems. I right, hopefully it will be released for them if it not is not already. I know I have it on the PC version. The PC runs a lot smoother. You can tell the 360 is showing its age. But anyway, it, this is a very if you have like uh, zombie kind of type of repertoire you like shows like The Walking Dead or games like Dead Rising or Dead Space I think you would find this a highly enjoyable game especially for the price point I mean at the maximum for the game and DLC you'll pay $30 maximum I know a lot of people got on deal got on special for 10 bucks the DLC $7 Kind of, kind of a small DLC, but for seven dollars, I, I think it's very, very worth it. It's, this game offers, you know, survival next. challenges. You have to go find materials, supplies, building supplies, medicine, food. Adds that realism to you know, all your decisions. You gotta be trying to make the right decision. Here I'm just trying to find find one of my friendlies and try to rescue them. And that situation this situation kind of turns bad. And this is where the game shines. It really can catch you off guard and by surprise. You think you're just doing a routine sweep. The next thing you know, you're in, you're in lust. The main thing I forgot to use here is uh, stamina. You can use food to uh, replenish your stamina, which goes down by using your weapons or just swinging your melee weapon. See, in here I'm just trying to knock them all down, get a finishes on them. Without paying attention to my stamina bar, and makes that know it's all gone. But that really slows you down. A situation like this, that is a bad call, especially if you don't have any food. I should, I should have a firearm out and trying to shoot my way through them. Fucking help me! Suck it! Looks pretty clear to me. So, yeah, this, this game is full of surprises. I don't think it gets boring or rep repetitious home. until you get at least 15, 20 hours into it. But then, but still, it adds new challenges with uh, new game plus modes almost, where you uh, leave an RV and it just basically puts you to a new game plus, where you can keep certain characters and keep trying to rank them up higher and higher.
So, I mean, if you're a fan of the zombie genre at all, then this is an excellent game to go pick up and have some fun with. I think it has very high replayability. People are already talking about leaving. I mean, it always has constant things going on. But, but I mean, after you do maybe 10, 20, they do seem like you're doing the same kind of stuff over and over. But again, I mean, you get you get a good, you can get a good 20, 25, 30 hours out of this game. So it's a yeah, different yeah, game mode clear. than normal See mode for campaign we'll uh, on the original plant. State of Decay arcade game. I think it's one of the best games of the year, one of my top picks. Definite, definite uh, recommendation. All right, well. Well, what are you waiting for? I'll check you guys out later. Let me know what you think.